Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live. This is a very high risk place uh, of trading the future. Uh, I want to show today, this is the latest auto trade we released to our traders a couple of weeks ago. It is a very successful auto trade uh, with a lot of consistency. And uh, some people ask us to show different than the minutes, range, seconds, uh, takes, and we're going to show the takes range. I personally like the minutes, but um, we're going to do this to the request. Uh, I want to show the gold is still in the trade, and uh, we are around 1100 on that. It's been on the same trade. Uh, the DAX 5 minutes, 2200. The beauty about this uh, uh, precision auto trade, ticket trade with the trend and reversal. And you don't miss anything. You can be very aggressive uh, with that. And a very simple to use, very simple to optimize. And uh, base on, uh, uh, on a very good entry and it does not require a lot of work to do with it. Very friendly use. Uh, ES, five minutes, 3,000. All those uh, auto trades, they are based on $1,000 target, but when uh, the market keep going to your direction, it's gonna stay on the trade. So that's why you see people, some have 1,500, some have 3,027, like this one here. If the market go into your direction, it was, um, this one here, it was on the other channel live. Uh, the first round on the 10 second was 1800 and the second round was 2775 on the other channel live. And um, uh, today, and um, it was a beautiful trade. Uh, and uh, it is only on 10 second. That give you the, the advantage when the market not moving to enter the market and still can catch some trends in it and that's what happened today um, uh, ES 1500 DAX 2000 I'm not gonna go through all of it but um, three minute NASDAQ uh, 3000 on the NASDAQ also it was in the other uh, live trading room today. Uh, the Nasdaq 39 second, also it was on the other room. Uh, 2720. That was a beautiful trade. Uh, the DAX four minutes took a couple reversal and it was done. And if you notice, they were all done. 2500. The YM around 11 o'clock was done. 3000. And it is perfect entry, perfect exit, very nice. CL12 range, didn't take that much to hit the $1,000 target. One, two, one, two, one, two, it's finished. And then uh, we have the CL1 minute, also 1280. NASDAQ three minutes, 1700. ES, 2000. ES, 27. And a CL five minutes. I want to show the other auto trade. Uh, the TI seven is a total different automated trade. Uh, this is the the TI seven. The TI seven for Ninja Trader eight is a total different algorithm than this uh, precision automated trade. This one here has ten different entries, ten different filters, and. Uh, you can scalp it, you can swing trade it, you can approach any instruments with it. It's not about the PNL, it's about how the trade was taken on the ES today. It was very impressive. A grab a beautiful trade early in the morning by eleven o'clock was done. And what is what is this is my favorite trade today, despite the PNL. It's, it's all the PNL is all depend on the market movement. But the way it took the trade, turn around, 
and took that trait on the TI-7 and you can see the V-shape you know and uh, uh, that was I thought it was a beautiful trade I like those days where one two three and you're done and you should not be trading again and one two today it was done I like those are my more my favorite as an example than if we take that chart here which there is a lot of small trade because the market was not moving in those hours here so this, this one here dragged all the way till 12 o'clock before we hit the target but on this one here it was one two and done and i, I like that when it's less a stressful uh, environment in the auto trade uh, i like that and uh, we still have a gold trade uh, we're gonna leave it a little bit longer and then as you see here uh, you can trade the way you want it to, to, to trade and uh, I want to show some different time frame today uh, you can you can use a 12 range and uh, it was a little problem here you can see today but when the market was trending the market was trending also this is another option uh, that um, you can iron all the noises in the market and you can if you want to you can auto trade on 10 minutes with a minimum stop loss I like to show you this one also it was in the other room today as you see it was a lot of a chop and um, and then we had one losing trade and then when the market was trending we got it and it was done and I found this one beautiful uh, the way not the PNL the way it entered the market avoid chop took them with trade and it's done this is uh, the challenge in the auto trade is not the PNL actually I mean the PNLs are excellent I don't want to but I don't want to talk about the PNL as much as how accurate the auto trade when it's taking a trade especially when we're talking about one minute uh, this is a typical one minute one minute auto trade is a statement uh, we started around 9 9 30 on that one and you can see where it entered the market and exit hit target one trade and those are my favorite I don't care if it is uh, 1200 or 500 but uh, stress-free off done close everything walk away from the computer so you don't have to mess with the you know I don't like the idea uh, keep trading 24-7 uh, it does not exist in reality this is another example also on the one minute ES and this one here was started at 9 30 took one trade catch the trend and done at 15 50 and that's what I like I don't like a trade an auto trade keep going back and forth uh, I want to show an example uh, this is uh, also a lovely trade and uh, it was done 2300 here is uh, the things I want to explain most of the auto trades they they lose money in this area here some of them they blow accounts in this area here when the market is not moving and if we magnify not this and not this magnify when the market was sideways for many hours we actually survive it with no losses and that's what is count not this and not this because most of the auto trades on those small ones when the market is sideways uh, when they get in into the chop market this is where the auto trade reveal how bad it is not this and not this this is the way it's supposed to do but here surviving flat market it is the challenge for the auto trade and no matter what you do here you cannot avoid 
flat market and when uh, the market is flat there is no money to be made you know it's irrelevant what you have or what you aimed you're not gonna get it and uh, that's fact well, welcome to trading and uh, I want to also show today's trade this one here we we got caught on a small break even it should have been much bigger but nevertheless, we hit uh, 11.50 on that, so that's okay. Let's see how I'll hit it. 19.20. YM 23.15. Uh, ES done and over by 11 o'clock. And uh, YM 11 range also. Let me show you the, the YM. Also. Thus, we had a little chop, and then one trade, two trade. Look at this beauty. And here we are in the market. Confusion, confusion. And we started around 9.30. It was a lousy start. Then we broke even. And then when the market is trending, there we go, bang, 26. But also, if we look at this chart, um, this one here started around, yeah, we started somewhere around 9.30, but uh, whoever started around 8, 8.30, he would have been done before even the markets open, and it was over, and uh, probably he would have made much more than uh, 2,600 actually, but um, we cannot win it all, we cannot time it, you cannot, no matter how how good we are uh, we cannot sometimes time the market to the last takes and this is part partial of trading i want to say thank you very much and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the other channel live uh, thank you very much and god bless you all bye for now